Wonderful. Hello, hello, everyone. Great pleasure to have you here. My name is Konstantin. Today, I'll be talking about the pin, DRN, and Edge, the future behind the idle resources. Uh, we are coming from Titan Network. We are layer one DPIN uh, project that builds and believes in ecosystem and in the future behind idle resources that we can all together accumulate and bring to the world of the future. Without further ado, our agenda today will consist of three main points. First of all, I will just briefly recap and uh, frame the space where we are right now, where we are as Web3, where we are as DPIN. And I think it is a very, very valuable topic to remind this to, uh, ourselves in order to make sure that we are here, we are all aligned to where we go. Then I will talk about the future behind the global idle resources to make sure and bring you the value proposition of why building a deep in space right now and why focusing on global idle resources makes so much sense with the projects of today. And third point today will be how Titan Network leverages a global idle edge. Here I will tell more about how we at Titan Network are capturing the value that's available in the ecosystem right now. How can this bring you to the deep end of the future, to the story that we all envision and promise? So, just a quick, quick, quick reminder why we are all here. We are all here because the importance of digital resources such as storage, compute, and bandwidth will be paramount as digitalization continues to permeate all aspects of our life. I think no one here has a doubt that in order even to be here today, we all have used some, uh, some form of storage, some form of compute, and some form of bandwidth, whether you are showing a ticket to the entrance or whether you are finding on Google Maps how to get to this location. All of this is part of our life right now. And the more we come digital, the more we become digital, the more storage, compute, and bandwidth would be required for us to continue our life. And with the pin story, I think we were all starting very, very early, back in 2008, uh, when the Bitcoin paper launched. So a lot of time, a lot of water gone through that. We have the storage networks being launched, compute networks being launched, bandwidth networks, AI services network. All the story that you hear so far about this from this stage was about we are slowly and slowly and slowly getting to the future of DPIN and future of web free promise that we all are targeting. With right now in 2023 or even in 2024, we have more than 650 live projects, DPIN projects specifically, that are building some parts of the ecosystem and that are making the future of DPIN real in every single day. And to remind you where the DPIN promise is, I think this is a fascinating perspective where we are as DPIN projects, one way or another, really transferring the wealth and power back to the citizens and communities. We all want to be the owners and we all want to control what we have in our ecosystem, what we have on our mobile phones, and how our technology is being utilized to the power of public good and to the benefit of ourselves. So with DPIN Promise, there are many, many, many different small pieces that bring us together to this global, exciting world where transfer, uh, where the wealth and power is back to us, back to the owners, and back to the control of the ecosystem that belongs to us. But the reality when we're speaking about this DPIN promise, it's still quite a long way to get there. And on the way right now, what we see is that there is a vast DPIN landscape with different physical resources, different DPIN modules, digital resources, various blockchains build their part in the ecosystem to make sure we are all aligned and make sure we are all getting there one way or another. And for me, out of all of this space, I try, when I try to map it to myself to understand what's possible now, what's possible in the future, and how do we really achieve that, the promised vision and the goal that we all try to be at, that's where, for me, the pin can be really summarized in two simple terms, or in three simple terms if you want to. Inside the pin, in all of those broad ecosystems of different projects, different technologies that come together in one single piece, all what we have in reality is, on one side we have physical resource networks, which incentivize people to direct and deploy location-dependent hardware to offer real-world non-fungible goods and services. You can think of that as mobility, energy, connectivity, or hardware devices, solar, anything that really exists in the physical world and enables you to do certain things in this physical world. On the other side, 
we still have digital resource networks, which incentivizes people to direct and deploy hardware resources to over fungible digital resources, such as, once again, storage, bandwidth, compute. And I think this becomes more and more paramount importance for the whole deep in space, whole blockchain space. 10 years ago, we were able to provide some of the solutions on storage and bandwidth and maybe even compute in the blockchain space, but that's where deep in streamlines and runs ahead with new technologies and new tooling available to us on a day-to-day -day basis that allows us to really leverage the power of distributed storage, distributed bandwidth, and distributed compute, and bring it to the ecosystem to generate as, value, as much value as possible, and utilize this value to reward the owners of this technology. And that's where we strongly feel that, the e that we have to explore, if we were to target the deep in, and if we were to bring this future promise where all the technologies are covered one way or another by deep in solutions, we have to really think, what is the easiest way to bring deep in services closer to people? And I strongly believe if we're talking about being as close to us, to human beings, we have to be on our own phones. Right now, the research estimates that there are more phones than people around the globe. There are more number of cellular phone subscriptions than worldwide population. There is probably, I have two phones, you have, I don't know, at least one phone for sure because you somehow showed the ticket. So there are more phones than people, there are more devices available. And being close to the community, being close to the user, you have to be on their own devices. And by saying that, we also have an increasing number of billions of devices available to us globally around the world, whether it's smartphone, tablets, PCs, other portable devices, all of them bring together us a huge, vast amount of resources that are being underutilized across the globe and that exist to the people as close as possible. Moreover, when we're thinking about those devices, what I really hope about all of you here today, that you sleep at least eight hours a day. But we can roughly estimate that whenever you sleep, your phone is being idle and that resource is being available to the whole ecosystem but being underutilized right now with current technologies of the deep in today. But what we strongly believe in is that if we have a device around the globe, which is more than 8 billion devices globally, and they're idle 8 hours at least, or 33% of their lifetime, well, that's a great opportunity to build resources on top of. And that's where we are thinking as Titan Network, how to tap into available global idle resource and utilize it to the most potential, leveraging this deep in future as we are all envisioning it. One way to utilize that is the Titan Network approach. Here I'm happy to present you our project Titan Network, where we are leveraging the digital resource L1 network to create an incentive layer for global idle edge resources. We are accumulating the global ID resources across the globe, incentivizing people to participate in the our ecosystem and deploy their resources of their mobile phones, edge devices, and then we orchestrate that deep in cloud to provide cloud services for all the users, for all the demand across the globe to do something good while you are sleeping, while your phone is idle and we're leveraging that resources to provide utility across the globe to corporates, to organizations, and make something good with the idle resource that you already have. And to validate those propositions, I think Titan Network has performing very, very well so far. These are the results of the first public testnet. We achieved more than 77,000 nodes online with more than 86 petabytes of storage committed just from mobile phones. I remind you once again, this is an edge device. This is a resource that's available to you and to us on a daily basis. My phone is idle when I sleep. This resource could be used by Titan Network to do something good around the globe. We have accumulated 86 petabytes of storage, more than 236 CPU cores, 68 unique IP addresses were contributed to this network right now. And the beauty of that is that you all can be part of that network as well. You can be one single number, one additional number on this network, and you can be all around the globe participating in the network. And this, we believe that in order to really bring the DP in future to the reality right now, it should be as simple as possible. If you're participating on our uh, network, you can go to our booth, install the software with two clicks right now on Android or on any other device. iOS is coming also soon and be part of this network, contributing resources and getting rewarded for your resources contributed to the network. That's where we're seeing great fascination by our team and I'm uh, welcoming every one of you to be part of that fascinating growing ecosystem. So 
When we accumulated those resources from the network, what do we really do with them afterwards? So there are multiple traditional DPN solutions that are possible on our network straight away, but there are also some unique edge DRN use cases. So if you accumulate the idle devices that are as close to human being as possible on your phone, on your tablet, or maybe on your friend's phone or tablet, we are now powering, uh, we are now able to empower the new DCDN and OpenCDN solutions that when you think about content delivering, you usually think, okay, there is somewhere a server from YouTube or some other corporation that serves content to me. Well, now with the power of Titan Network, we can serve you content as close to you as possible, from your friend's phone, from your colleague's phone. That is how close can we be with DP and DRN networks. And together with being closer on your phone and delivering the content in an instantaneous time, we are also providing you the full security of our services with VM plus container structure, where your phone, while you're dedicating this solution to someone else around the globe, is fully secure. No one can access your phone from the inside. And the same way outside, you cannot really touch and know what's happening on your device so that both of parties are fully protected and ensure that quality of services are on par with cloud. And what that really brings to our solutions is the power of last mile storage and compute that's available with such networks where you in reality get to the gateway of being as close to humans being as possible and ensuring all the solutions and all the tooling being available to you 24 seven as soon as you need that. One of our ecosystem highlights, and I want to show that how it's not only the story, it's not only the test net, the beauty of that technology is that we provide the solutions right now and people already build on top of our DRN network. And one of our highlights is E2. I think the video will start shortly. Uh, it's a cutting edge solution for high speed reading and writing of massive volumes of high definition images within a decentralized storage network. Let's see. Oh, it actually works. Oh, nope. Uh, I guess we'll have a power of support from the backside and the video will turn on. Yes, marvelously. So here, there is a video tutorial of one of our project companies that building on our ecosystem. They are using this resource of uh, aggregated resources from cloud to really highlight the power and potential of technology. Uh, they are using our DP network to serve very large images and interact with them across the globe. So this image is actually four gigabytes large. And in order to just open this on your personal computer, it will probably take you a few minutes in Adobe Photoshop. What we allow you to do instead, you can just click and open, and it will show you to you in real time. And not only it will just show to you, which is already a non-trivial task, you are actually able to interact with it and edit it and uh, cooperate with uh, the technology, making sure that you're taking the full potential of video or photo editing software. Here, for example, you can leave comments, you can interact with it as you would normally interact. That really unlocks a huge, huge potential for leveraging all the DPN ecosystem, making sure that devices are being served to you and you receive the highest quality solutions as possible with technology distributed across the globe and across yourself. That's how close we can get to you. That's how, can, uh, how high quality services we can provide to every individual across the globe. With that being said, I'm super fascinated and I would love to go to the next slide as well. Uh, I think I'm still, yeah. One, two, three. Well, with that being said, I think there is a huge, huge potential for Titan Network coming across the globe. We are scaling, be part of our network. Please join our link tree. There are a lot of information on how to participate. If you're listening to me here today, go to our booth. We have amazing merch. We have amazing opportunity to reward the people who are part of the network. Join, start earning together with Titan Network, and whenever you are installing our application, you are being part of something great and amazing. We all here today are part of the DPIN future, and we are building it with our own hands. Thank you a lot for your time. That was a great pleasure to talk to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>